In this video, we're going to look at intelligence and inspect CE data collection and analysis software. Uh, first of all, we need to have a virtual facility. Then we can place points at various locations within the hierarchy of the virtual facility. Points are objects that are used to collect and hold data. Each point has a schedule, so when we upload points to routes, schedules will filter out points that are due. Within the routes, which are placed on the handheld, we can collect data and alarms will be triggered depending on what data is collected. Then when we upload the data back into the database, work will automatically be created and target the areas of the facility that need to be rectified. So this is a user guide for, for data collectors. We're going to look at downloading routes to the handheld, collecting data on the handheld, and uploading data to the database. Okay, so first of all, before we go and um, upload a route to the database, we're going to make, we need to make sure that our handheld is docked and uh, powered and connected to our computer via USB. When that happens, Windows Mobile Device Center should pop up and it should become connected. If you're using Windows XP, this will be active sync, but it's the same principle. So when that's happened, we can use this button to access the instrumentation, choose Maintelligence Inspect CE, make sure your settings are correct, most new clients should be running version 4, and press connect. This screen shows us the routes that are on the handheld and the routes that are available for download from the database. Before we do anything, you should clear the handheld from old routes. Now, I have two routes in my route manager, and I'm going to select them both and upload them all. I only have one route group, and uh, I'm going to select them, but I if you have multiple, you can choose your route group. So the routes are being pushed, and now they're in the handheld. So I can close this and dock, undock my handheld and collect data. So here we have what uh, the screen looks like uh, when you're running a handheld with Windows Mobile 6.5. And to start Inspect CE, which this is software used to collect data, we're going to hit Start, and then click on our Inspect CE logo. You'll be asked to choose your username, which you may have to do manually, or you might have to scan in. Optionally, you can choose an operating state and password. And then we're going to click this icon to access the routes. So here is uh, where we can see, uh, where we can choose which route we want to collect data for. I'm going to choose daily inspection. And right now we can see a list of points which are indicated by a uh, white square icon. We can also click this action button to view a tree view of the points within their equipment. So here are three equipment, functional location X, Q, and P and each of them have uh, a number of points underneath. To collect data, we can double click on a point or click on the collect data uh, icon. Here's an example of what we call a multi-checklist point. It allows you to check multiple conditions and shows you the corresponding alarm status. To go to the next point, click the down arrow. This is a numeric point. It shows you when the, the point was last collected, the, st the alarm status of the last collected, and the value. To enter data, you can use the physical keyboard on the, d on the handheld, or you can click on this keyboard and enter new data. This is an example of what we call a dual numeric value. So it's asking us for the intake pressure and the outtake pressure, output pressure. So I'm going to use the physical keyboard and enter 111 for intake pressure and then click on output pressure to select the output pressure. Okay. 
There's no need to press save. Data is automatically saved, and if I go back up, you can see that. If we click exit, the door sign, we go back to uh, our tree hierarchy view, and you can see a summary of the data you've collected so far. You can also use a barcode scanner if there's barcodes uh, tagged at the equipment level, and that will take you to the first point within the equipment that you scan. If you'd like to make a note about a, a point, you can do so by clicking the ax, uh, action button, clicking enter note, and ad either using your physical keyboard or this keyboard to make a note. Alternatively, there are a number of pre-programmed notes that you can select and then put in automatically. If you want to see uh, more information about historical records, you can click on the action button um, and scroll down to show graph. This will show historical data taken over time. If the equipment is down, you can choose to skip this point, as well as all points within the parent equipment. And this will uh, allow the people who are analyzing the data to understand that you didn't miss these points, you skipped them because there was data could not be collected. Okay, so once you've finished collecting data for your uh, for your route, you can you should exit from Spec CE. Dock the handheld back in its cradle. Make sure that uh, Windows Mobile Device Center is connected, and then as before, click the Access Instrumentation icon to connect with uh, the handheld with the database. You can select the route or routes that you collected data on and in order to upload them to the database we click the upload button. The message will say upload completed. Press import button to process importing. Before you import it you have the option of generating work based on the data you've collected and if you choose to do that method, you'll have an option to generate work over with a time period. And you can also update the due statuses for all route items and, and uh, affected items. So we can see that three points were imported, three readings. I missed 12 points. I skipped 12, uh, three points. It's a good practice to delete the routes off the handheld after you're finished with them. If we go into the plant manager, we can go to the point view and sort points by when they were last collected. And you can see that the data we collected is in the database. Thanks for listening.